What's going on everybody? This is Best in the Bird with another gameplay commentary and this week I have a battlefield rush on Operation Metro. I'm on the defending team and uh, kind of running around just destroying people. Um, first off I wanted to say uh, happy July 4th, uh, you know, Independence Day, whatever, you know, we're celebrating in the United States at the moment because this is going up on the 4th. Um, you know, basically the 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 background of it is that we got away from England but most people just use it as a day off from work a reason to get drunk and have a cookout and have a lot of fun and you know lose sight of the main reason but you know however you may celebrate it it's good I'm sitting around enjoying my day off having a beer been uh, working on editing videos and just kind of going through all the videos I have saved up at the moment so I've been doing some extra work um, Excuse me. Uh, needed another swig. And anyway, um, I also wanted to discuss how, um, ironically, I was I was originally due to be born on July Fourth. I wasn't. Luckily, I guess kind of luckily, kind of not, because if July Fourth would have been my birthday, there would have been a lot of kick-ass, awesome cookouts and parties and shit that would have been on my birthday, and that would have been awesome. But it wasn't. So, um, but on the upside, I was born a week from today so my birthday is 7-eleven I've always liked that um, it's kind of cool so you know I got a birthday that's quickly approaching it's only one week from it and I will be 31 I know some of you may be surprised and maybe like what uh, you're old or something no you just think that until you get to this age um, you know because I know a lot of people it's kind of weird when you start turning ages that you didn't ever you never thought about turning, you know, you never hoped to turn 30 or 31, you never thought about that. You know, when you're growing up, you think about turning like 16 and 18 and 21 and stuff like that, because you get to do, you get to do additional stuff, you know, when you get, when you get to turn 16, you get a license, when you turn 18, you can go to the club, you can buy tobacco and stuff, depending on your state and everything, I mean, I'm pretty sure 18 is pretty much legal everywhere in the United States, um, as well as you're finally a legal adult, you can vote. Um, and you can legally have sex in most states as well, <laughs> but anyway, um, but you know, when you turn stuff like 25, 30, those aren't really, those aren't really ages you kind of look forward to, or you kind of plan on when you're, when you're coming up and when you're younger. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things that it's kind of surreal. It's also, it's also kind of time of reflection. I'm not sure about everybody else. Um, but personally, you know, when I'm leading up to my birthday, it makes me, it makes me kind of take, in, take account of my life and, you know, just take a take an overview of where I'm at, where I've been, what I've done. Um, you know, kind of kind of like as in the day, the 4th. Last year on this day, I was in Barstow, California. Um, I was traveling across country from Washington State back to North Carolina. So I was getting to see a lot of cool stuff. Not only that, but, you know, the day after I was in, I was in uh, the Grand Canyon, which it was awesome. Um, and you know, it definitely felt, it was definitely a patriotic experience traveling across country on the, you know, kind of near the fourth and, you know, the, the birth of America, basically. It, it was really, it was really awesome, especially seeing the Grand Canyon on the 5th of July last year. I, I was proud to be an American. Um, I still am, of course. I mean, I wouldn't rather, really rather live anywhere else at this time, but, you know, back to kind of talking about turning the next age um i'm sure some of the rest of you probably do the same thing as far as reflecting back you know kind of seeing kind of taking account of what all you've done where you've been friends that have come and gone um stuff like that you know people that have passed everything you know because that's what life is about it's about what you do and kind of how you treat people and who's around you and you know all that good jazz people you've met people you've lost um, you know, kind of what what you've accomplished, what you've done career-wise, what you've done p personally. Um, you know, it's just one of those times where it makes you it makes you appreciative of what you have and where you've been. You know, and also what's to come because you never know what the future may hold. Um, I mean, if you told me three years ago or four years ago or so that I'd be doing YouTube and I'd be doing it for a couple years so far and you know still be plugging away 
I probably wouldn't believe you. Um, you know, it's something I aspired to do, and it was something I was interested in and was curious about, but, um, you know, I was really procrastinatory in the beginning because I, I didn't do it. <clears throat> I mean, I talked about doing this for about a year and a half or two years before I finally did it, and that's what made me finally do it. So, it's definitely something I've improved upon. Um, I think I've become somewhat of a, of a better person. Not saying I was Enemy horrible before, won. but I think I'm starting to starting to gain a lot of stuff that I didn't have previously. You know, patience, um, understanding, compassion. Um, but at the same time, I've also become a little more cynical. You know, I've become a lot more uh, of a critic. You know, I don't just take everything at face value. You always have to ask questions. Always. No matter what it is, ask questions. That's why they tell you in school there's no stupid question. There are stupid questions, but... You, you steadily got to try to learn. You know, you don't have to go to a, a yeah, learning institution to continue to grow and become more knowledgeable about something. It's all about the desire to learn and the desire to get better. You know, um, it's kind of like one of the, it's kind of one of those things I learned with age. Is that you just steadily have to keep pushing and keep trying to do something different, keep trying to be a better person than who you were yesterday. Enemy soldiers, um, over. Yeah, yeah so. Let me take a swig of my beer real quick. Mm. Tastes like freedom. But yeah, um, other than that, you know, I'm doing awesome. Looking forward to my birthday. Probably not going to do anything on the day of my birthday because it's a Wednesday and I'll have to work th that day and the day after. Um, so I'm probably just going to do something next weekend. Try to get some people together, some friends. Hit up a bar or something. Just go have a good time. Kind of keep it chill, laid back. You know, stay out of trouble. All that fun stuff, but I hope you're enjoying this video because as you see, I mean, I've been playing with a, several different classes, but all the time I'm picking up faces, and I'm sure some of you are noticing there's kind of some jumping in, in, the, in the match, and it's because the original match was 25 minutes. I mean, I think they had the ticket count on like 300% or something, so, I mean, it took forever, but they didn't ever get past the, they never got past the, they never got to the actual second position which is what we're defending right here. I mean, they got the first bombs, but they didn't get any further than that. They never even really got in into the other underground tunnel area. So it was a pretty good gameplay, so I had to chop it up and kind of get some good stuff. Pretty much only got rid of, like, load streams and just periods of running and, you know, kind of death respawn stuff. So hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm definitely going to have some more coming out. I've been, I've been recording some new stuff. I was playing a new game recently called Blood. Forge, yeah, Blood Forge. Um, it's a really cool arcade game. I'm not sure if someone you want to, might want to go check it out. I think it was 1200 Microsoft, which is what like 15 bucks or something. Um, but it's really cool. It's really the best way I could describe it is the way I described it to my my friend at work the other day. Is it was visceral. Um, it's very, it's really gory. It's a lot of bloodshed and just some real. Uh, hack and slash kind of running gameplay single player um but it's a lot of fun it's something definitely different still been playing my minecraft and everything i've been trying to get some good stuff i recently made it to the nether world and yeah i've been trying to figure that whole thing out because it's pretty ridiculous and uh so there's gonna be some more videos you know i've, I've kind of cut back on my uploads recently because i was i was trying to do numerous ones a week and you know, on some occasions, I can I can get a, I can get it accomplished. On others, though, you know, I got time, work constraints, and stuff that I can't really get around and kind of get sucked into working extra hours and you know. So I can't necessarily upload a couple times a week. I might try, but it just depends on what I got going on and kind of what's happening in in my life. So. But I will definitely attempt to make at least one upload a week. Um, I need to get back into live streaming some more. I've, I was doing it kind of regularly there, and then I kind of dropped the ball and hadn't got back into that. Also dropped the ball on my painting, so that's why you hadn't seen any any pictures of that and stuff. If, if, if some of you are unfamiliar, I started at oil painting, um, I don't know, probably about six months ago now. And, yeah, I kind of just kind of fell off with it. I kind of lost my urge and my desire to do it at the moment. But I still want to get it accomplished because it's something I set out to do and it's something I'm going to I'm going to finish and follow through on. 
So, it's something you're going to see in the next few months or so, hopefully. Probably not the finished copy, but at least some, some preliminary work to getting the finished, the finished product out. So, you know, everybody, have a beer if you're old enough. Go to a cookout. Have some fun. Enjoy your, your firework festivities of the 4th. And be proud you're an American because not everywhere can you make your own decisions and do what you want to do because you have that ability. So be sure to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. I do appreciate you watching. And I'll catch you later. Until next time, keep gaming.